Hello everyone, Jake Peters from Hateman Electronics here to talk about using our locomotive harness tester to test an EFI harness from Wabtec or GE locomotive. Note, a pool tester is provided with the locomotive harness tester to check the ring terminal crimps on the EFI harness. Please refer to the local EFI harness rework and refurbishment procedure for instructions on when and how to use this device in your process. If not currently connected, reconnect the three jumper connections to the A, B, and C connections on the end of the easel. Make sure to wiggle the connection as it is screwed into place to allow the connectors to mate properly. Mate the large round connector to the connection on the end of the easel labeled EFI. Lay out the harness in the bottom two trays of the easel. The harness will be oriented so that the legs cross coming out of the back of the connector when placed on the easel. Connect each ring terminal pair to the easel oriented so that the ring protective rubber boot is facing open side towards the easel. At the operator console, if the test software is not already open, double tap the wire harness tester icon on the desktop. Below the lid on the console, change the selector switch to ENG HARN. The software will change to the engine harness test screen. Press the start button beside the selector switch to start a test. The software will ask which harness you want to test. Tap the EFI harness button on the test software screen. During the test, each wire will be tested for resistance to check for integrity. Once the test is complete, the software will say good or bad and the corresponding pass or fail light will illuminate on the operator console. Remove the A, B, and C jumper connections on the end of the easel. Disconnect the large round harness connector from the easel connection labeled EFI and connect it to the connector labeled EFI high voltage. Back at the operator console, change the selector switch to ENG high pot. This will change the software to the high pot screen. Warning, make sure that all personnel are clear of the tester before continuing. The high pot test energizes the easel and operator cart under the lid to high voltages that are hazardous. Press the start button beside the selector switch to start the high pot test. The high voltage indicator light will flash on the front of the operator console while the test is running. Once the test is complete, the high voltage flasher will go out and the pass fail indicator will light. The EFI harness test is now complete. Disconnect the harness from the easel. My name is Jake Peters from Hateman Electronics and you have been watching a video on the use of our locomotive harness tester. If you want more information or need to contact us for support, you can reach us by email at hpelect at hateman.com or by phone at 724-376-2239. Thanks for watching.